Hey everybody, how's it going? Aja Collections here and today I'm bringing you another action figure video. This time we're looking at an action figure that is fully printed and painted by me. And full disclaimer, this action figure is sculpted by someone else. The person who commissioned this action figure to me had it sculpted already. So I basically just added the articulation to the figure, printed it and painted the final version. And this journey is basically putting together the final version of the action figure. Uh, to give you a brief introduction to the Embrace, the Embrace is a story about loss, fatherhood and justice. Uh, so what happens in this story is a father loses his son because of a mugging that went wrong and it's a story about how the father is not able to come to terms with the loss of his son and is seeking for justice but when that is denied uh, he does kind of want to go into a very self-harm kind of direction but uh, luckily his son comes back as a ghost and this comic is about how that story unfolds so if you want to read the story or support this uh, support this kind of uh, independent project please go to the link down below you'll find links to the indiegogo for embrace part two which is the second chapter of uh, of the story and you can also reorder a reprint of the first issue as well so find that in the dis description below so this was written by michael odin who is also the person that commissioned this action figure to me and now let's take a look at how this action figure turned out So before proceeding any further, let's take a quick look at the sponsor of this video. This video was made possible by Resion. All the resin used in this video to print the action figure was sponsored by Resion. Resion's M58 is the best resin available in my opinion to use for 3D printed action figures. The M58 is a strong, durable ABS-like resin that is wear resistant and there is no powdering or grinding of any kind on your action figure parts. If you want to print action figures and you're looking for the best resin for your prints, look no further than Resion. And the best choice in the Resion lineup, in my opinion, is the M58 Grey Tough ABS-like resin. To grab yourself some Resion resin, please check the link in the description to the official Resion website. Thank you so much Resion for providing the resin used in this video. So here we're taking the chest piece and the chest ball peg and basically plugging them together. I do heat up the chest piece so that the chest ball peg can slide in a lot easier. I made the tolerance a little bit more tight so that when the chest ball peg fits into the chest, it stays in there more secure and it basically gives the action figure more stability and uh, yeah here you see me basically trying to push in the peg a little bit after I've heated it up and that's what it looks like once the pegs in there and now we can move on to adding the abdomen piece to the ball peg so similar to the chest piece the abdomen piece is exactly the same I heat it up a little bit and because of the tolerances it is a bit tighter so I push it in and once it's set in there it should be very strong it's a very strong connection and after the chest and the abs are combined we can now move on to adding the neck ball peg which will be this, the base for the head so popping on the head is as simple as it looks so all I needed to do was heat up the head so that the resin is a bit softer and push it into the ball peg and now the head is on the body. So the shoulders are pretty much the same. I heated up the shoulder and put the peg into the shoulder. Once the peg is in, we can now move on to plugging the shoulder into the bicep. So the bicep slides onto the shoulder pretty easily even without heating, but I did heat up the piece just so it's a little bit easier. Here I'm putting in the elbow joint into the bicep piece and as you can see there is a little bit of uh, missing color on the elbow. That is where my clip was basically holding onto the piece when I was painting it. But because it lives inside the bicep or the forearm cavity it is not visible so I left it unpainted. So for the forearm piece we basically heat up the forearm and plug it into the elbow. Very simple. The hands are very simply designed on this action figure. It's basically a wrist peg and the hand and we heat it up and plug it into the hand once the wrist peg is on the hand we can now add it to the forearm it's basically just a simple heat and plug so here i've repeated the exact process on the other arm and now both arms are done moving on to the legs i basically heat up the thighs and smoosh the knee piece into the thighs as you can see, the knee piece, when it's warm, gets really, really soft, so it does get really easy to plug it in. The calf piece is exactly the same. As you can see, it gets really soft when it's warm, so it, it just makes it a lot easier to plug it in. 
So the ankle joint is exactly the same. I heat up the lower leg and basically plug in the ankle joint and we're ready to move straight onto the feet and push the feet onto the ankle peg. For the second leg, I repeated the process and now all the parts are done. Now all I need to do is grab the arms and legs and plug it onto the body. So after everything has been plugged in, the embrace action figure is done and this now looks awesome. So after months and months of work, countless prints, countless failures, countless retries, countless prototyping, this has been such a satisfying project to complete. I have learned so much doing this project and I figured out so many different ways that I want to do things in the future. There were so many learnings that were incorporated into this action figure and so many that I want to take forward. So it has been a really learning experience and I definitely want to give a big huge shout out and thanks to Michael Odin and his team for all the patience and trust that they put on me to build this action figure. And now it's done, I've shipped it over to Michael Odin, it's on its way there, so hopefully he gets it soon and he is able to give me pointers or feedback on what he thinks. And I'm looking forward to building more action figures for the Embrace team. I am thinking of different ways of doing things, so that's going to be a little bit of a surprise. So that will come hopefully in the next uh, videos. But this has been such a process, such a journey, and I'm so relieved that it's finally done. Also, a quick reminder to everybody, if you want to see more of the Embrace, please go to my link in the description below to the Indiegogo channel for the Embrace 2. It's coming soon. And also, you can reorder the first issue of the Embrace, basically, if you want to get in at the beginning. So please check the links in the description and support the Embrace team. This is an amazing comic book and amazing characters. There are so many more that I've seen conceptually that are so incredible. So I'm looking forward to basically all the characters that come out of the stories. And it's a very intriguing story. So if you can, do give it a read and support the team. If you enjoy this video and if you enjoy the content, please give it a like. If you want to follow this channel for more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have anything to say, please put it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope to see you again in the next video.